So far this morning, we've checked in with Trang Doe. She's live in Cherry Hill. Now let's head out to the airport where Outnews News reporter Pat Gallen is live. So Pat, this snowstorm sure is going to be causing uh, problems for travelers. What are you uh, hearing from them at this point? Good morning, guys. Yeah, here at Philadelphia International Airport, we are seeing many cancellations, sort of a mixed bag, though. And as I looked at the travel board and saw some cancellations, but still saw some flights on time, I wondered where I could go that would be nice and warm. Maybe Punta Cana? I don't know, maybe Mexico? No. No, I'm here. We're outside the airport where the ice is starting to come down. And as you see behind me, people starting to file into the airport. Not busy yet because of some of those cancellations. Obviously, this fourth nor'easter over the last few weeks wreaking havoc on flights around the country. And if you are traveling today and you think you might have to make a change, Diane Gerace from the Philadelphia International Airport says do it now. If you have any flexibility at all in your scheduling, make sure you contact your carrier because most airlines are offering to waive the fees that you would customarily pay to change your itinerary. They're waiving those fees so you can change the dates that you want to fly and they're doing this if you are flying to and from certain cities on certain dates. And we encourage you to please check with your airline on those details and certainly take advantage of that if you can. We talked to a few people heading to Atlanta. Their flight luckily was still on time. We talked to a, a family, a woman with twins who was on her way to Orlando. They were on time as well with their fingers crossed, hoping that that holds true now over the next couple of hours. But again, okay, and that of course was Pat Gallen live for us at the airport. Good to see that some people are still being able to make their flights this morning. Pat froze yes. in a nor'easter. Oh, Do you notice this is not a coinky dink? That's very profound. I'm telling you, he froze literally and figuratively. Yes. Well, <laughs>